Tom. Hello, everybody. Tom Fox here. Welcome you back to Paper Mario and a Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we figure out what little gold bob here wanted for his birthday present. They are still fighting. They just got to talk to people to see who get it. In this episode, we're going to be looking for a blanket thief. Uh, these are the people I already talked to in the last episode, so no need for that. Why do I think? Oh, right. I was trying to do something that I think was a bit of head ahead of time. Yeah. Let me try talking to Chef Shimi and see what he's got to say. And now, if you please, I must begin to prepare the evening orders. Ah, no. Curse this tongue of mine. I mean, the evening, evening hors d'oeuvres. He is so totally back that chubby guy in the red gray time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Really? Well, okay, I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're like awful memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? <laughs> you airheaded woman. Walking down the street, airheaded woman. Let's see. I could sleep if I want to. Actually, it'd probably be a good idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little nap. Mwam bwam. If you could share the bunk with me. Or maybe not. I don't maybe I don't roll that way. I'm still unsure, Vivian. Eh. Nothing here. Let's try talking to Chubby here. Chubby, you need two blankets, don't you? Heard some noise in the room next door a little while ago. Weird ones. But when I looked in there, it was empty. I was like, okay. That was freaky. And then when I came back, I heard the noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that for me? All right, this is what I wanted to do. All right. Noise time. So, who could it be now? Aha! A ghost toad. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place! A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky thread? No, I lived no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine. All I need is your life! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I will show you where the blanket is! Sure, ghosty. And don't you even dare read my diary! Because if you do, <laughs> a horrible fate awaits you! Alright, so, we're gonna save here. Because I'm totally reading that diary when I find it. Oh, man, you have no idea. Diary. Diary. Di diary. 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 Saturday! Jump, two, three, four. Jump, two, three, four. Put your... I can make her legs taller by jumping! Look at her. She's a tall drink of water. That leg goes on for days. Did you find it? What? A ghost? <laughs> and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. 
Baggage car! Baggage car! Baggage car! Alright. FOODS! Alright, anything else in here? No. Over there is stuff behind here. Hey, we did it. The diary. Diary, the ghost, uh, ragged diary. The diary, the ghost cap. You shouldn't read it. Oh, you know. I mean. Hey, you know. Did you find the diary? Wonderful, I knew you could do it. Now I can't leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Oh, I'd love like to see what's written in it. You can read it if you want. I assure you. It's to die for! <laughs> Ooh, I make myself laugh. Saturday, Saturday. It's Saturday when I'm recording this, so it's Saturday! Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Uh, you know, we don't have to return the diary. We could open it, and we could. Do something with it. Let's see. Gear, important things, ragged diary. Read the diary? No sure what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? No sure what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. Do you understand me? No sure what the heck. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You lurked! Even though I told you not to! No, see? And that's it. Game over. Well, thank you for joining me for the finale of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. It was, uh, we had 100% of the game by reading the Ghost Diary. Got every single item by doing that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. So let's actually return the diary for real this time. Alley-oop. Here you go, ghosty. Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary! Very well. Your blanket is right here. You got a blanket. The conductor's blanket. Without this, he's freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. Oh, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much! You will probably never meet me again in this world! Fare thee well! Bye, ghost. Well, actually, maybe not! I've been here so long, I've kind of gotten used to it! The wallpaper is so great! Maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer! I can leave whenever, so... That's all there is to it! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So many toads in this chapter! Alright, let's go give the blanket to the conductor. Screw it, I'm going through the dining car with you guys. Like it or not, I'm a walking around. I gotta find a Herschel earrings. Uh, Believe it or not, I'm a walking around. Let's see. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Here's your blanket. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. A mushroom. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. I am the conductor of the Excess Express. So many toads! Oh, my raw voice! I see, so it was not in fact our super sticky, our yummy sticky suspect, but just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It, it is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. I do we need to find that woman's uh, shell earrings at some point. Shell City. The item shop! It's closed! No! Alright. 
So let us go back to our room and turn in for the night. Good night, world. Well, it sounds like we should get some rest and let the conductor watch over things. Get in bed with me, Vivian. On second thought, don't. Well, maybe? I don't know. Train voyage, day two. Hi, Vivian. I didn't even mean to run into her like that. That was kind of funny looking. Uh, let me talk to the other guest about uh, about those shell earrings. I already talked to Fatso over there, and he just had to complain about the ghosts. I don't think he'd eat them, so... Well, the shell ear earrings do grant you a star piece. Spoiler alert. Well, hello there, you fine specimen of a man, you marvelous dear. You solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes, very well done. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you can help me with something as well? I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, you bold, brilliant man, you? Let's see, cosmetics? Nah. Alright. Let's talk to you, Zip Toad. Hey. <coughs> Hey, I'm Zip Toad. Zip Toad is no lo no nowhere to be found. Zip Toad, poor Qua. Where could Zip Toad be? Surely he's not zipping or toading. Maybe he is. All right. Hop two, hop two, hop two. Vivian, put some strength into that singular leg of yours. Vivian got leg for days! An email on a train? Piffed. Piffed, I say. Piffed. Get in the door, Mario. Don't jump at it. You needn't jump when you have a gun. <gasps> yeah. Ah, uh, my dear Luigi. Your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the effects to my assistant, Luigi. Okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all of the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, Mel, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Oh, of course, of course. Our company's new product, product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from the seashell, uh, calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize everyone here! In, in a sticky yet yummy shellac! If it, it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job! Let's examine the fix, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Though well, you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Uh huh. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress lady in cabin 2? Uh, and the lady in cabin 2? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the Lady Toodles lost a, t a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat uh, in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. I have to kill a man with my bare, bare hands. Has anybody come through here? Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station today! Around dusk, I believe! Oh, bully! Oh, I was- Oh, I just realized what I was singing there! Um, there was a Kickstarter, uh, game from the guy who made the webcomic Brawl in the Family. Um, called Tadpole Travel, and the- the song I was singing- Like, I, I thought the sound- the song sounded familiar as I was singing, I was like, wait a minute, where have I heard this before? It's Thunder Mountain from the game that's being made, uh, Tadpole Travel. Can't wait for that game to come out. Check it out. I believe it's been greenlit for Steam, and I believe it's also coming to Wii U. I'm pretty sure they were funded for it. He's good. He's good. He's most good. Uh, let's see. Anything in my cabin? Nope. With my lovely assistant, Vivian. 
Uh, Ghost, have you seen anything in as suspicious at all? Ghost? Alright, Ghost hasn't seen anything. Go, little tadpole, find your way back home. Alright, what do we got? Hey, morning, Mario! Have you been in the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that bonus, too. It was like a bad, chowdery nightmare. Thanks that it's in the cooking iron pals now. Isn't life weird? Yes, very weird. So says I, Mario. So, she lost earrings and zip toed uh, documents. Got vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. So, we shall return to the detective post haste next time on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. See you all. Then the train's not there.